So with each day of the Olympics, we are going to be making a video covering every single bit of news from each event. We're going to talk through all the results from every single competition. So if you have missed any news of the Olympics or maybe it's been going on while you've been asleep, I know a lot of people in the UK and US, a lot of it is either early morning or late in the evening. So this is your place to find out what's been going on in the Olympics and we will cover every story. So please consider subscribing, turning on post notifications, leaving a like, and also comment down below your predictions for future events, and also what you thought of the events, what we're touching on in this video. So the first event of the day is the women's 400 meter hurdles. All the main medal contenders progressed to the next round with Dalila Mohammed running the fastest time in 53.97. In the women's discus, Valerie Allman qualifies with the furthest throw of 66.42, only two athletes qualified by throwing the qualification mark. In the men's pole vault, 575 was good enough to qualify through to the final, with no real upsets other than Valentino Lavillani not making the final. Armand Duplantis is still looking the clear favourite. In the men's 800 metres, all the main favourites got through, with Fergus Rotic running the fastest time of the day with 1.43.75. The Americans, Clayton Murphy, Bryce Hopple and Aisha Dewitt qualified as well. The only real shock was Oliver Dustin, who has a fast finish and as a 1.43 runner, failed to qualify in a race that seemingly suited his tactics. In the women's 100m hurdles, Kamsha Quinn qualified with the fastest time of 12.41 and the world record holder Kendra Harrison qualified with the 8th fastest time. In the men's 100m, Canada's Andre de Grasse runs the fastest qualifier with a 9.91. It's quite a big shock as Trayvon Bromel, who was arguably the favourite going into the Olympics, only scrapes through with a fastest loser's spot running 10.05. In the men's long jump, Juan Miguel Echeverria only jumped once with a huge distance of 8.50, which secured his automatic qualification. Jamaican Gale jumped 8.14 with an injured leg and came out of the long jump pit struggling to walk, so hopefully we can see him in the final. And American Javon Harrison, who's going for the long jump and high jump double, also qualified. In the men's discus, it was the final and Daniel Stahl, the favourite, won in 68.90. Simon Pettersson made it a Swedish 1 and 2 for second and Lucas Weschenhanger takes third for Austria. In the women's 800 metres, Afing Mu looked amazing, cruising to a 1.58.07 as the fastest qualifier. Her teammate Ajay Wilson failed to qualify, but the third American, Raven Rogers, qualifies as the slowest fastest loser with a time of 1.59.28. Al Manza, who is the second fastest in the world this year, fails to qualify. All three great British runners, Keela Hodgkinson, Gemma Riki, and Alex Bell, all qualify for the final. In the mixed 400 meter relay, relay specialist Poland somewhat caused an upset by taking the win. Dominican Republic took second and United States took third. I would find it interesting to see how fast the United States could run if they put their strongest team out. And now onto the most impressive performance of the day, that was the women's 100m Olympic final. Elaine thompson Herrera becomes Olympic champion running 10.61 into a headwind. Some say this equals the legal world record as the 149 held by Flojo had suspicious wind readings. Favourite Shelly Ann Fraser Price took second and another Jamaican, Sharika Jackson, completes a Jamaican 1, 2 and 3 for third. The performance of the day obviously goes to Elaine Thompson with probably the best women's 100 metre run in history, also defending her Olympic title. Afing Moo deserves a special mention in the 800 metres as she was seriously impressive. The shock of the day comes as Almanza and 800 metre defending world champion Nanyondo both failed to qualify in the 800 metres and a big upset is Dina Asher Smith announcing that she has pulled out of the 200 metres due to failing to qualify in the 100 metres as she has been struggling with a hamstring injury since the British trials a few months ago and has not yet got back to full form. She still will be racing the relay. Please like and subscribe and turn on notifications for all your news related to the Olympics. And we're going to be making a video every day as well as posting on our Instagram and releasing podcasts. So yeah, comment down below any results you were surprised with or not so surprised with and what you're most looking forward to or what your predictions are for the next few days of track and field.